up guys, Ronald is here again. So since it's a beautiful day over here in Windsor, I thought I'm just gonna take a little ride in the downtown area and just uh, cruising around the river. And uh, before that, I just came here and chill out at one of my favorite spots. It's actually like right next to the Windsor Ambassador Bridge. It's a uh, yeah, pretty stunning structure, especially if you're so close to it. They started to build actually in like 1927 and they finished it in 1929. It's about a 2.3 kilometer stretch uh, across the Detroit River going to US and it's actually one of the points where the two cities connected. The other one is actually underwater, it's uh, the, the, like the Detroit Windsor Tunnel. So, but let me get on a bike and then show you around. A little street where we are right now, it's a, it's called the uh, Riverside Drive and uh, this goes all the way almost until like uh, Pretty much like end of the end of Windsor. It follows the river like all the way down. But I think the view on this uh, this part is the most beautiful. I'd like to just uh, come down here, even if I'm not stopping, just like uh, cruise along for that uh, two or three minutes. And just enjoy this uh, amazing view, especially now in like springtime when it's everything uh, get back alive and everything's so nice and green again. The flowers are blooming and yeah, it's just it's very beautiful. And obviously, Detroit gives you also a really, um, really nice view from this side of the river. We are arriving in the downtown area. But it's like it's like that's the spot where you wanna go if you've never been here and uh, if you wanna have some good food and look around. It's definitely a good spot in my opinion. Here's the bus station. When there is not a lockdown going on, and not, I mean, when everything is normal, <laughs> I mean, no pandemic, then from this uh, bus station goes, uh, you can go through uh, Detroit in the buses, which is awesome. Especially if you're going for like a, a game or something, and you want to have some beer. I don't necessarily want to drive and definitely that's the way to get through <laughs> Of 
course since there is this is the center of the city there is a bunch of uh, hotels and stuff for tourists and actually a lot of uh, like let's say kids from US comes over here because they are legal to party from 19 and back in US it's only from 21 so yeah on the, on the weekends there is there's a lot of uh, students like university students coming over from US and then having a good time Because there is a lockdown going on, uh, it's pretty sad to look at uh, look at Windsor because because a lot of places are closed, right? And uh, they're not going to be able to reopen for uh, for a little bit, only just for like takeout. So that kind of uh, downtown life, what's going on in a, in a weekend time, it's kind of like died with all this pandemic but I think it's pretty much like everywhere in the world is like this and if you guys want to look for a good patio place in downtown I think uh, Pool and Barrel has one of the best patios and one of the best Wednesday, sp Wednesday parties I mean somebody that's how somebody told me <laughs> And if you want to have some good Mexican food, the Acapulco is the place where you want to come. Because, I mean, it's run by Asians, people. Don't get me wrong, it's like... <laughs> run by Asians, but like... But actually, it's, it's the best uh, Mexican food I, uh, <laughs> I eat here in Windsor. And it's kind of, uh, it's kind of funny. So... <laughs> But yeah, it's definitely a go-to spot, especially like if you're looking for something end of the night on the weekends. Yeah, it's one of the go-to spots. <laughs> oh, that's a classic. This place, this building right on my right side, it was um, I think like an army supply and now uh, it's actually the Windsor University took over that building and uh, having the classes in there and here we are Casino Windsor has a place where you can gamble your soul away. <laughs> but honestly, there are uh, Latino parties on, on the Fridays. They are bomb, man. I can. It's one of my favorite <laughs> parties, to be honest. <laughs> Actually, it's uh, really interesting because um, this uh, riverfront, like this riverside here, uh, back in the days it used to be like a transportation spot for all the ferries and for the trains. Um, so pretty much over here, what I have on my right side, all along the Detroit River, it was like an industrial area. And they, they changed it, I think, in 1980 or 1990. They uh, replaced it with this uh, beautiful park here. So before that, back in days, it used to be like, um, yeah, like docks for the ferries and, um, and like stations for the for all the trains coming in and uh, bringing in all the, I mean coal and all kind of uh, all kind of stuff and I guess from here they were transporting um, all those things to US after that there is still some structures actually 
they left on, uh, on here on the riverside they like to remind people how this place was look like back in the days but now it just looks it's really amazing look this it became a really a really beautiful park in my opinion So what happened over there, um, the veterans, uh, I guess from the uh, Royal Canadian Navy, they took a little uh, ceremony and uh, remembering for all those people, they lost their lives in the, the Second World War, in the Second World War. And because actually here on Riverside, it takes uh, place a lot of monuments about all those uh, wars where uh, Canada was participating, like South Korean War, Vietnam War, uh, obviously the First and Second World Wars, and yeah, it's definitely a very important thing to remember those people and uh, don't forget them. All right, people, so that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy this little stroll along the Detroit River. I know it didn't include all the like everything, but just wanted to show you in the area where I'm living at. <laughs> so take care and see you next time.